What's up, YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about how Chelsea boots became so popular. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap the notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends, like Bazooka Joe, salute. Now, without a doubt, Chelsea boots are one of the sleekest, sexiest, elegant, most rebellious, edgy types of footwear a man can rock. And they've been one of the top footwear choices for stylish guys for decades. But just how did they become such a popular choice for guys? Where did they come from? How did we get the style in the first place? That's what we're gonna talk about on today's video. On today's video, I'm gonna give you the whole origins of the Chelsea boot, why people started wearing them, who made them popular, and why they became popular. So without further ado, let's get into this rundown on how the Chelsea boot became such a popular fashion choice. Now, although Chelsea boots have been a pretty popular style of shoe easily for the last 50 or 60 years, they actually have their origins almost 200 years ago. Now, at the time, Queen Victoria of England, when riding her horses, was getting very frustrated because the laces from her boots would get caught in her stirrups. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm doing my equestrian events, one of my biggest frustrations is my laces getting caught in the stirrups. You feel me? But in the event, she had a cobbler by the name of Jay Sparks Hall invent her a laceless boot. And on this laceless boot, you had this vulcanized rubber elasticized side, which allows you to slide the boot on and off very easily. Now this boot wouldn't have been possible without these elasticized sides, which came from the invention of vulcanized rubber. Now this technique had been invented about a decade ago. Now there's some argument about who actually invented it. In America, Charles Goodyear claimed the rights to this invention. In Britain, it was a man named Thomas Hancock. Because I'm from America, we're gonna go with Charles Goodyear. Now this new style of boot wasn't even called a Chelsea boot at this time. It was actually called a paddock boot because it was used for riding and walking. Now they didn't actually start being called Chelsea boots until the 1950s or 60s when they became very popular in the borough of London called Chelsea. A lot of your mod types and your rebellious stylish kids started rocking the boots in this part of Great Britain. But the boots really took off in the 1960s when a couple of bands you might know really started rocking them. I'm talking about the Rolling Stones and the Beatles. And it was really the Beatles who really gave them their big push. The Beatles loved them so much, they even added on their own personal flair. They had cobblers add a Cuban straight heel, which made them even taller, and elongated the toe. And like I said, they became very popular with the rebellious kids over in London, who loved how stylish, sleek, sexy they were. They had a nice rebellious edge, a sort of Italian design, and just a great smooth, high fashion boot. And one of the things that really made this boot stand out for the stylish set is that they're just a little bit more elegant than the other popular style of boot, your desert or your chucker boot. Chucker boot, a great boot, but not quite as easy to dress up, not as elegant. With the Chelsea boot, you can rock it with a suit, trousers, a nice slim fit pair of corduroys, chino. It's just a flyer boot all around. And stylish guys have recognized this since the 60s. Now the Chelsea boot has had its ebbs and flows, and for the most part, the leather version has been the most popular. However, in the last five or 10 years, it's had a resurgence, but more so due to the suede variety of a Chelsea boot. When you started seeing celebrities such as Kanye West, Zayn Malik, could never pronounce his name right, and Harry Styles seen rocking them on runways and in their street fashion, they became very, very popular. So much in fact, you saw higher end fashion houses such as Bottega Veneta, Yves Saint Laurent, and Common Projects come out with the suede Chelsea variety. And between me and you, the boot that got me back on the Chelsea boot train, the Sand Suede Common Projects Chelsea boot. It was hard to go on any style blog or anywhere in the street without seeing suede Chelsea boots. This kicked off a whole new resurgence of the sexy, stylish style. So next time you grab a pair of those sexy Chelsea boots, you actually have a woman to thank for their beginnings, Queen Victoria, and definitely an extra nod to Mick Jagger, John, and Paul. Now, if you're digging this style of video I've been doing about how things became popular in men's style, you definitely wanna check out my video on how Timberland boots became popular I'll leave the link in the description. Okay, so there you have it. My rundown on how Chelsea boots became popular. 
Let me know in the comment section if you're a big fan of this sexy, rebellious style. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll check you out tomorrow.